Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's absolutely lashing down outside so I can't get out to do any hunting, target work or anything like that. I'm not even going to attempt to. Uh, got a bit of burnout going on really. Um, don't know what to say. Uh, what, what can one say? Uh, I've noticed I've got to a thousand subscribers full out, so please guys, thanks very kindly. It's great stuff, let's continue to grow. But going forward on the channel, I think um, I'm going to do more of the instructional side of things. Uh, when I done the, was sent the MV400 to review, it proper stressed me out, it really did. Um, in regards to that, I'm in contact with the guys from One Leaf, and we are getting things sorted. So there, that is why that video was taken down. It's fairness, in fairness to them and to their product. Uh, so I don't, I don't want you guys to think. Um, well, I don't know what I want you guys to think. You can think what you want, I guess. But that's the reason why it was purely. I wanted to keep that. Uh, review absolutely tickety boo and fair and because there was an issue with that particular scope I don't think it was representative of the product in general so like yourself but in contact with Jason from One Leaf and we'll get it sorted and I will get a review up on that so that's where that went <sighs> What can I say guys, I, I'm going to say it, I'm going to come out with it. I, it seems every time I do a video now, I come on and whinge, but I'm going to whinge. For the nice person who put the comment up saying, uh, perhaps I should spend some money on getting a haircut and getting some dental work rather than spending money on guns. That fella, that was a blinding comment. It, it, it was swiftly removed, but if you still do watch on the channel, I've had my hair cut, mate. And I'll continue to spend my uh, money on guns until I can get in and have the surgery and dental work I need on my jaw and get my teeth repaired. But thanks for noticing anyway. Uh, it's what you need. Enough of that anyway. Uh, yeah, going forward with the channel, I want to go back to like where it started with the guns and do a lot more instructional stuff. If there's any, if there's any potential companies watching this who think I oh, know, I'll email Vin and get him to do a review. No, no, I, um, no more reviews. I don't want to. If I review something, it's because I've paid for it with my hard-earned cash, and I can say what the ever I want about it and it, it'll be honest not that any of my reviews aren't honest but yeah and I just, I just thought I don't know I'm going to take you guys for a little tour of my workshop and where I do the filming and stuff it's a two part thing I'm not taking you in the other side until I've been in there with a broom and swept it out and tidied it out but this side of the workshop is mainly my shooting stuff and all hand tools, my assembly table, my workbenches and stuff like that. When I first came into this workshop, this was just an empty shell. All the stuff you see here is what I've made with my own two hands kind of thing uh, and to suit my needs. It's not the best craftsmanship, but it's shop furniture, so it's built for in a way for specific reason, not for aesthetics as such. And we'll come behind the camera, because I know some of you guys said you like vintage tools. Yay, double win-win. I'll show you some of the stuff I got and a little walk around the uh, workshop. Uh, just take this off. Uh, as you can see over here, I've got my little whiteboard. Got some lovely Vintage saws, dovetail saw. That saw, guys, is from the 1800s as well. Old. Um, 
a beautiful saw. If you thought the planes behind me, I had a, too many planes, well I've got lots of planes here. Every one of these planes, when I get them, are in terrible rusty condition. The, all these tools, what you're seeing, are stuff what I've restored, I've, I've salvaged them. In here, when I've got my guns on the farm and I want somewhere to keep um, safe, well, I'll um, sort up the wood shoot and depending on what, what sort of shooting I'm doing, I've got a gun ca uh, cabinet there with this rather tasteful wood burning of a pheasant on there. Uh, more chisels. Look at this guy's beautiful uh, combination plane. Another more modern combination plane. I've got my selection of rebate planes and philister planes there. And then we've got uh, all my block planes and specialty planes. Here I've got my cabinet scrapers and my spoke shaves. And down there I've got a lovely little 81 router plane. And more planes and more planes for the guy who was saying like um, bin this stuff you know and go for more modern stuff well this little plane here I can assure you if I sold that it's a tiny little number two that the value of that is equal and above what you'd get an FX impact for it's unreal isn't it but more vintage tools up there more and my saws there yeah, some power tools trigger sticks down here and Webley Osprey the crow on there HW I've thinned down some of the numbers of guns I've got over here at the moment I haven't sold them or anything they're just not at the workshop anymore um, Keeping the main users there. A little cheapy blave, more saws, uh, wood turning tools. This is my like little gun bench. Got my crony on there and various shooting stuff. My gunsmithing screwdrivers, cleaning kits, Got a huge array of pellets on here, uh, more vintage tools. Hence four fins, vintage tools, more vintage tools. Down here I've got my silhouette knockdowns and various shooting tools. Workbench full of guns as usual. Um, got my vices here. These are these vices uh, when I purchased them. I'll give you, I'll demonstrate in a second. Just walk over here, more carpentry vices. But I'll, I'll just show you something. Uh, these are all my future project uh, projects to restore, and uh, that that's basically how I end up buying stuff. It looks like this. Uh, take the rest. This is a Rabone combination square. I will have that looking literally like it came out of the factory. Uh, I'm more than capable of restoring tools. Uh, and there's more projects to go. And yeah, I'll sort of stand back here so you can get a look see of where it happens. And yeah, just spin around here. Small modern tools like these, the stuff I use for uh, doing my restorations and stuff like various belt and disc sanders, bandsaw, and guess what, guys? More planes. Look at this booty from the 1900s. Lovely American uh, Stanley there. Actually, these are both American Stanleys. Both got sweetheart blades in. Those who know will know. Various other types of planes. Yeah. So, 
There you go, a little workshop tour. Uh, yeah, on the next lot of videos, it's, I hope if it's, it isn't raining, I'm going to go for doing the instructional side of things again. It's what I enjoy most. Uh, obviously, the um, little ASO is Sniper. Just, just so you know, it's been given to the young lad who's over the moon and at some point and it'll get a tune job but at the moment it's his Easter holidays he wants to quite rightly to uh, so too he wants to shoot it so that's what's happening with that and yeah just a quick look see around this one and I'll catch you next time cheers guys